It is the 145th day of school. Excellent job, you guys. How many itty bitty ones in 145? You are correct. Five. How many hundreds? Correct. How many ones? Correct. I also wanted to say happy April Fool's Day. I hope you guys all received my brownies. Super fun. And then I hope you enjoyed the brownie. I wanted to tell you a super fun joke you could play on somebody that I only like the jokes that are nice and not mean. This is the one I'm playing on my boys tonight. Do you want to see? Do you guys know what these are? These are kitchen sponges. And then I'm going to take frosting and sprinkles and make it look like a piece of cake. And then I'm going to give it to them for dessert tonight. Do you think that's kind of silly? Well, I think it's only okay because I'll have real cake for them after. I also wanted to show you a sweet picture. Can we tell who, what friend that is? Yes, hi, Miss Eliza. You know what she's doing? She is looking at all our friends on our Zoom call. Wasn't that so much fun? First grade, it was so great to see you on Zoom. I had so much fun seeing all your faces. I just made my heart so happy. Really, I'm grinning from ear to ear that I got to see all of you. That just made me so happy. In fact, first grade, what I'm going to do, I'm going to email your parents, and starting next week, not this week Thursday, but next week Thursday, I'm going to start having a weekly Zoom meeting with our class. So come when you can. If you can't, that's okay. And next week, what we will do is I will have each of you show one thing. So like show and tell, but just one thing, and we won't take any questions, but we'll take turns and let everybody share one thing. Maybe your favorite stuffed animal, your favorite um, Legos you built, something like that. So start thinking about what you would wanna do for next week. I can't wait to see you then and get to talk with you. Okay, are you ready for some Easter jokes? Okay, what? day do eggs hate the most? What day do eggs hate the most? Take your guesses. Are you ready? Friday. Like Friday, fried egg, because does an egg want to get fried? I don't think so. That's so funny. Okay, first grade, I also just came back from our chapel. We recorded for our virtual chapel. You are going to love it this week. It it was so good. I'm actually going to have, my whole family has been watching Chapel, but my whole family is going to watch it together because it was so good. Parents, you will love it too. It was a really great chapel. And so I hope you're getting to enjoy that today. Um, I only have two things to talk to you about, about what you're doing at school today. Um, on Wednesdays, we don't have math. So if you're behind in math, you can catch up. Or this is a good day to maybe do Zern or um, a website like Extra Math, which I'm going to put on our newsletter. So it's a good day to do, or flashcards with your parents, some extra practice. Today you're going to do some letter writing to a friend. I do want you to make sure you use complete sentences. How do we start our sentence? How do we end our sentence? Excellent. Also, I have you today going on Wixie, like we've been doing in computer class. Uh, Mrs. Kirby, if you have any problems getting on, just have your mom or dad send a little email to Mrs. Kirby and she will help you. She sent out, I think, an email um, maybe a week or so ago with your password. But it's just two. They're really, really, really fast little projects on Wixie. But then you can go make your own project if you want to. And then it also gives me a chance to check how that works with us, okay? Um, first grade, I want to read you. Today we're actually having two story times. One story time is kind of like we do in class where it's actually part of what we're doing in reading or math. So today we're going to read a tiny little book about Mexico, and then, and so this is part of our reading class today, okay? So let's learn a little bit more about Mexico. Has it been fun this week learning about Mexico? Have you had a chance to eat any Mexican food? Mmm, yummy. I really am going to try what Mrs. Veen sent me and what Scarlett sent me. I'm going to try some chocolate and guacamole, and I'm going to show you how it looks and what I think. I think that's super exciting. On top of that, at the end of this, I have a little guest for us for our story time, so stay tuned for that too, okay? So this is um, the next stop, Mexico. You guys have seen this um, pyramid already in some of your videos, right? Okay, let's just read a little bit about this. There's my table of contents. What does the table of contents tell me? Yes. So look, if I just wanted to find out what page the land was on, what page could I go to? 
You are right. Good job. You guys are doing so great at this. Okay. Welcome to Mexico. There it is. We can find it on a map. Mexico City, that's the capital of Mexico. And remember when we studied maps, they usually show you on a map where the capital is. And we can see here's the Pacific Ocean, which is the same ocean you see when you go to San Diego. And here's the Gulf of Mexico. Here's what it says. Hola. Welcome to Mexico. Mexico is a big country. Everywhere you go, there is something new to see. These are the maracas, kind of like you can make out of eggs if you want to. Here is a wide blue sky over a warm brown desert. A rattlesnake lies in the sun. Caden, do you see that rattlesnake? Caden loves snakes and knows a lot about them. Can you see its tongue, its forked tongue? So cool. I wonder if it's smelling the air right now. Here's a ranch. Here, a rancher drives his cattle across the plains. They are going to the Rio Bravo, which is a long and winding river. You can see it. There's his cattle, and it shows you on the map where the river is. When you look on maps, you can often see lakes and rivers. Along the coast, the mighty ocean roars. They have a lot of oceans. Mexico is surrounded by water. In the mountain forest, a bear family searches for food. Yes, there's something different wherever you go in Mexico. Oh, have you guys ever seen this? This is a cool one. Many animals call Mexico home. Have you ever seen a puma? You might see one in Mexico. Coyotes also live there. You might hear a coyote howling at the moon. You can hear a coyote in Arizona also. Lizards, snakes, turtles, and seals are some other animals you can find there. These are just a few of Mexico's animals. Super cool looking. Do you guys know what this is? Do we have these in Arizona? Yes, we do. Many different plants live in Mexico too. Cactuses grow in the desert. Some look like people reaching to the sky. Jungle vines and plants grow thickly in parts of Mexico. In other parts, deep forests of oak and pine trees are found. Mexico is known for its sunny coast. People go there to enjoy the sand and ocean waves. Fishermen work along the coast. They catch some of the world's best fish. Have you tried a fish taco? And then it says tasty. In from the coast, mountains surround most of Mexico. Wild animals roam the forest there. Much of Mexico is covered in desert plains. The land is dry, but many plants and animals find a way to live. Some very old buildings can be found in Mexico. There are even pyramids there. People come from around the world to see them. Mexico's true name is the United Mexican States. In Mexico, the people say Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Mrs. Stavros could probably say that a little better than I can with a much better accent. Mexico City is the capital of Mexico. You can find museums, universities, and tall office buildings in the city. And here it tells me some facts about Mexico. Where, what else would you like to know about Mexico? This chart will tell you some important facts. So let's look at the chart a little bit. Their language is Spanish. Their leader is called their president. They have a, their number of states is 31. We know about their flag. We've seen their flag, three stripes, um, green, white, and red, with a snake in the center. Their Independence Day, like Independence Day for us, is July 4th. Their Independence Day is September 16th. Their major religion is um, Roman Catholic. And their major crops are corn, sugar, wheat, oranges, and coffee. And their money is a peso. I bet some of you have seen a peso or maybe even have a peso at your house. Okay, first grade, do your best in school today. Hold on for story time. If you need to press pause, go ahead and press pause. Go get your blankie and your stuffy, and let's read an Easter story. Hi, you guys. It's Nurse Sass here. I am so excited that I get to read a story with you guys today. I miss you guys so, so, so much. 
Um, anyway, I hope you're eating those magical crackers when you have headaches and stomach aches. And uh, I can't wait, wait, wait to see you guys. So anyway, I get the honor to redo a story today. And I am going to redo Pizza Cat, Five Little Bunnies. All right, here we go. One night, Pete was bunny-sitting five little bunnies when all of a sudden, five little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the doctor or the nurse and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Four little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Pete called the doctor or the nurse and the doctor said, what did he say? No more bunnies hopping on the bed. Oh, look at them all hurt. They need their magical crackers. Three little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the doctor, or what? The nurse. And the doctor said, no more bunnies jumping on, hopping on the bed. You guys can read that. It doesn't say jumping, it says hopping, right? Two little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the doctor or the nurse and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. One little bunny hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, or the nurse said, put those bunnies straight to bed. Look at them all. They're all hurt. So Pete and the five little bunnies hopped right to bed. You guys, I miss you guys so much. I cannot wait to see you, hopefully in the next month or so. That's my prayer. I'm praying for each and every one of you. I love you guys so much. Stay healthy, wash your hands, and know that Nurse Seth loves you. Bye.